So this right here is the third gen Toyota Tacoma. And even if you read the manual front to back, you're sure to miss at least a couple things on this Tacoma. One of the first ones is coming on to the inside and going all the way down to here and checking out this little button. This right here sets your tire pressure. So it resets your PSI to whatever you want it to be. If you have some bigger aftermarket tires, you may be adjusting your PSI depending on how big they are. So maybe you wanna keep them running at about 35 or 36, then that's what you would set it to and go ahead and press on that button and it would automatically save that new PSI. So if yours goes under a significant amount, then it will light up the tire pressure signal. Right, so the next one is actually gonna be this button right here. So if you use the Tacoma steering wheel, I'm sure we use some of these buttons, obviously some of these to change this display, some of these to change your music, and maybe this to pick up the phone and hang up. But right here, this little button is actually made for saving a screen on this little display. So we're gonna go ahead and pick a screen. So let's say the screen you wanna pick is right here, your tire pressure. Maybe you're off-roading and you wanna keep an eye on your tire pressure. Then you go ahead and hold on this screen and it's gonna ask you a question saying, customize that little button to this screen. Go ahead and press okay. And so now basically any screen you go to, if you wanna go back to that one real quick, you just press this. So maybe you're usually on this screen and when you're driving, you wanna quickly see it. Instead of just going and jumping around and trying to find it, you just instantly, whatever screen you're on, just press this button. So it jumps right to it and you can change it to basically any screen you want. The next button is actually behind here and it is right here. So this is your normal cruise control, but when you press this button, it's gonna show you radar ready. And cruise radar is basically a set distance between you and the car in front of you, which you can do by pressing this button right here. And you can set it to maybe three, two, or one. And that's usually the stock style that it comes in with the truck. But something you may not know is if you turn this off, and hold on this button, it's gonna tell you constant speed control ready. So now you're basically in traditional cruise control and when you set your speed, there's not gonna be, look, when I press this, there's no option to set your distance between you and the car in front of you. So another button coming up here is this one in the middle can actually automatically open your doors when you turn, no, I'm just kidding. But this one right here is obviously set so if you open your doors, then the lights will come on. Something you guys can do is actually set the limit of how long this light stays on. So if I just hop in my truck or maybe I just turn off my truck, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off right now, then that light is gonna come on. So I know it means door, but I guess it also stays on after the truck is basically dead. And then there it goes, it turns off. So we can actually mess with this and change the amount of time it stays on for. The way to do that is by pressing on menu, going to setup, and then we're gonna go ahead and go down, and we're gonna click on vehicle. And now right here, you're gonna have some vehicle customization, and it's gonna be door, no, it is gonna be light settings. So there's a couple different ones right here. But this light settings one is gonna tell you how long your actual headlights are on for and then how long your interior lights are on. So I actually like to keep mine on 90 seconds, which is the highest one for my headlights. And the reason for that is just, you know, because my headlights are upgraded and I like to see that when I walk away from my truck. And these interior light one right here, I like to keep it on very quickly and it's only on 7.5 seconds. So you can keep it on as long as you want or have it off when you go ahead and turn off your truck, they don't even come on. So that is something I like to keep it on. And like I said, there's a couple other settings here as well. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys can please help out the channel by giving a quick like and a subscribe, I'll really appreciate it. And if you guys have any other things that you may know about the Tacoma that may not be general knowledge, then go ahead and drop it in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys on the next one.